Welcome everyone, Questine here with a discussion about Terminator, Dark Fate, Defiance, and the recent patch. Also to talk about the supply situation in general in the game, as well as some of the things that I think could be improved further in the game. Now I do think the game is good overall, I wouldn't have spent 88 hours as I have so far if I didn't think it was worth playing it that much. But it certainly does have some issues. More so about execution. Like, there's no issues in this game, I think, overall, that can't necessarily be fixed. Maybe the performance issues, because the performance isn't uh, particularly great. But let's talk about the situation, what they have changed. Well, they changed the UI scaling on resolution. So right now, I am at, if I go to video, 1440p. and everything is larger like the text is larger the icons are larger not necessarily over here like a lot of the text that you see over here a lot of the icons a lot of the stuff that you see over here hasn't necessarily been enlarged though if i click on any of these buttons it certainly has like some of the text over here has certainly been enlarged like over here like the amount of supply you would receive for disassembling has been enlarged they've also added a tooltip for people to know that disassembling vehicles or dis or dismissing units is not necessarily uh, uh, is not necessarily the best thing that they can do which by the way goes against what the tutorial is saying like you got mason telling you at one particular point it's like hey if you know if we have supply issues we can dismiss uh, disassemble we can dismiss people put them in the reserve that's exactly the wrong thing you want to do when you are playing this game and I'm gonna go over what you should be doing, but they've added a new tooltip. And they've also changed the way supplies work. Now, they haven't fixed the supply issue, far from it, but what they've done is kind of like a band-aid fix, and I do dislike it. So, right here, I have two days worth of supply on the realistic difficulty. But if I drop it to normal, then you will see that I'm gonna get four days of supply. So the difficulty that you're choosing, you can switch it all uh, all you want. The difficulty you choose affects the amount of supply that uh, you consume. And if we go over here in Oklahoma, you can see like the tank, the Abrams tank that I have here, for instance, or the Bradley or the APC, they've dropped substantially in terms of uh, the amount of supply. So if we go back over here, it's like a 40% drop that they've mentioned over here between how things used to be and how things are right now and everything in between so if i go to medium uh, i'm not gonna quite get four days of supply i will get three days this is not a great situation from my perspective uh, the reason it's not a great situation is that let's say you're a player that plays on hard like i've beaten this game on hard i, I didn't play it on realistic i'll explain why but let's say you're someone who's quite capable of dealing with this game on hard but you don't want to deal with the supply issues. I do feel like there's a certain a certain trend, if you will, among certain developers, especially smaller developers, in particular strategy games, that they make some of the higher difficulties not difficult, but obnoxious. I've seen this with Ultimate General, for instance, Ultimate General American Revolution. I'm seeing it right here with Terminator Dark Fate Defiance, where it's like, oh, just, just uh, change things for the lower difficulties. No, it's obnoxious on every difficulty, regardless. Because if you're a good player, chances are, like if you're someone that knows how to play the game properly if you're playing on a higher difficulty then you're probably someone who knows what they're doing and if you know what they're doing you're actually going to have the most amount of supply issues because you're going to keep your units alive that is the problem that is the problem so you create this kind of situation where like for instance over here in this particular save i just fought oklahoma i picked up a lot of these vehicles like the artillery over here the m109s oh self-propelled guns, self-propelled howitzers, the Bradleys, three of the Abrams, the Strikers, a lot of these supply vehicles, the Humvees, a lot of them, I've picked them up in Oklahoma. And, that, and a lot of the units I have in general, like if I look over here, I have a ton and a ton and a ton of infantry units over here in my army, like Rangers, Engineers, Drivers, uh, you name it, tank crews. I have a lot of them that I picked up from Oklahoma because I've played the game well but now I have to dismiss a lot of them because the next mission that's over here in Fort Worth is going to require me to have five days of supply 
Now there is a way I could deal with this, like I could set over here to normal, but it's just such an annoying system, such, a, such an obnoxious system. I am penalized for playing missions well, which by the way is not necessarily the easiest thing, like if you're playing unrealistic, like I play on hard, but if I'm playing unrealistic, then obviously it's difficult. What's also annoying is the way they handle difficulty, so um, you ha you take like 30% damage when you're playing on normal, the easiest difficulty. It used to be what story, easy, whatever. Um, and you take 100% damage if you're playing unrealistic. You take 50% damage if you're playing on hard. By the way, that tooltip, they remove that information, but that's kind of like the detail. Like you, on medium, you take 40%, lowest difficulty, 30%. Hard, you take 50%. And realistic, you take 100% damage. Don't play unrealistic. It is pretty obnoxious. I mean, there's a lot of saves coming in this game because there's just such an element of randomness in missions but still you know you endure that and then it's like oh yeah you put all this effort you captured all these units and by the way capturing these artillery pieces was a question of me knowing the mission that I was going to be dealing with and knowing how these artillery pieces work like for instance with these artillery pieces there's some allied crews that would generally take them over but what I did personally is I send my engineers to take them over before my allies could because they start abandoned. That's how I picked them up. But now I can't keep them and there's not enough supplies that I get. So I actually restarted my playthrough like because I realized things were not going to go so well after Oklahoma on my initial playthrough. Restarted my playthrough, did things again and it's certainly a wall. Okay. So how do you deal with the supply situation? Like I feel like some of the supply things don't really make sense. So, uh, like, if we look at, like, an APC versus a striker, like, the APC is 1,300 on the lowest difficulty, and a striker is 1,600, and a cartel tank is 1,800, and Abrams makes sense, right? But cartel tank, it's like, that's absurd. Some, some of these vehicles are absolutely freaking absurd. And don't even get me started on things like the integrators where they cost like 10,000 supplies by default if you capture any of their vehicles. So what am I going to do right here, right? Do I dismiss a lot of these units? No, I go to the destroyed founders camp. I talk with the integrators and this is what's annoying. Like I put so much effort to capture these units. And now what I'm going to do is like, I'm just going to dismiss a lot of these, like these APCs, um, keeping more than four Bradleys is not really worth it. Uh, the reason it's not worth it is because you don't need more than uh, four Humvees uh, in any mission. The reason you want to go with four, uh, to, ex to explain that very quickly, uh, the reason you want to go with four, there are some missions where you will only be able to bring like light units, but typically it's going to be a limit of four, so that's the reason you go with four, right? Uh, over there, so anything more than that, it's kind of unimportant to do so, uh, so that's what I'm going to do, so like just you know, a lot of the stuff that I've just picked up, like it's going to go in the trash bin. And that is, you know, that, that certainly is annoying uh, to, to deal with in general. Like a lot of these vehicles that I picked up. Don't have more than one fuel vehicle, by the way, because it's like not going to be particularly uh, useful. Uh, you can have multiple supply trucks over here. But yeah, like four vehicles. I'm gonna sell one of the Bradleys, actually the original one, after I take this weapon. Uh, the reason I'm gonna sell it is like I'm going to be able to, like I've got an explosive reactive armor and I can pick up another Bradley. Like it's annoying to put all this effort to pick up stuff and then just like basically, oh yeah, let, let's just sell it. And the reason you wanna sell it, and the reason you wanna sell it is for no other reason than just you don't have supply, regardless of how well uh, you're doing things. And you also want, um, one, one of the things that you also want to do is like, you want to go in every settlement and you want to buy all the supplies, like get as many goodwill points, especially do this early on in a campaign, uh, because that's going to really uh, help you out over here. So yeah, just sell a bunch of the stuff over here that you're not necessarily going to use um, maybe even like I, I would even sell one of these um, these vehicles right here and yeah there you can see that I just purchased all of the supplies and now I am looking at 
you know, just purchasing whatever I might else might I might need, like all my all my um, all my Bradleys have that. Like I'm gonna get rid of the cartel tank as well, and then you know sell one of the tow launchers because I no longer need it, and then you know pick up a bunch of the stuff that I would use. Like for instance, I want to get uh, Esra uh, rocket launchers, uh, for instance, uh, over here. So I might even have to sell more vehicles than that, like. Um, in order to make do with that like so, so for instance over here sell so I'll sell this but obviously that would be a level of customization but and then and then you go over here to the movement the precon post and you do the same thing again like though in this case I'm gonna sell a bunch of the infantry that I don't need it is so annoying to have to put all of this effort you know to to get infantry uh, units to get drivers to get various things you know put in all of this effort to capture a lot of these units intact and then it's just like oh yeah you just want to get rid of all of them because you actually can't afford to have them <laughs> that or to every single foundry unit you have to do that like I feel this is something like I understand the intent if you will of what they're doing but I just think that on any difficulty, even with the reduced supply, like some of the supply consumption is a bit freaking ridiculous, honestly, uh, with some of these units or a lot of these units, it, it can end up being, it, it can end up feeling really, really uh, obnoxious uh, with respect to this. And the fact that you're constantly doing something like this, and now they've even made them more obnoxious because one of the tips I would give people right now is like, oh, if you're gonna play the game, here, here's what I would do. You know, if you're if you're gonna play the game right now, here's here's what I would do. Uh, sell a bunch of the units you're not gonna use, like you know, a couple of these rangers, for instance. Purchase as many supplies as you can in every mission, and what and sometimes when you're moving to a location, you will have a mission. So you do kind of want to start the mission on the difficulty you're playing on, but when you're moving from settlement to settlement, you can just lower the difficulty. This is not particularly great. So yeah, I hate the supply system. I don't think a player should be screwed over in this way for playing well. Like I understand what the developers are doing. They want to, they don't want us to just start missions with the death ball. But the thing is, we are. Like this is not stopping people from starting missions with the death ball. It just means players are going to get rid of a lot of the units that they're not going to use normally and they're going to you know po focus on like really powerful units like Bradley's, Abrams, have a couple light vehicles, have some, things like a couple like four javelins, a couple snipers, all that kind of stuff but get, get rid of a, a lot of the stuff that you otherwise wouldn't use like over here like there's no value whatsoever in me keeping any of the drivers uh, for instance, especially because they consume so much supply in general. So just get rid of the uh, drivers, maybe even get rid of some of these recruits over here. Like, just get rid of a lot of these guys that you're not going to use. Like, have three, four types of infantry of each type, like javelins, snipers, uh, RPG teams, heavy weapon teams. Uh, and never buy any unit. Like, you, you never buy a unit from a store because you just can't maintain them. Uh, and instead, like, you just continuously buy stuff <laughs> you, you just continuously sell stuff and you can and you buy upgrades like for units that you have like if there is even upgrades available uh, in the first place uh, from a particular store so like for instance here I'm just gonna sell that particular um, upgrade and this would be the army that I carry forward for instance and by the way uh, it's also even more annoying because like if I go back like there's a lot of micromanagement you have to do over here that's not particularly great and another thing that's pretty annoying about Oklahoma is like the guy who g gives you the most amount of supplies like at the same time that you get the choice uh, he gives you a choice like oh do you want to get vehicles do you want to get upgrades do you want to get more supplies what you really want is to get the vehicles like if you're going for Oklahoma may I have, make sure you have like three days of supplies because you're just going to pick up a lot of you know you're going to pick up a Bradley you're going to pick up an artillery vehicle I'd say more than two is kind of meaningless so I probably could have sold like both of these heavy platforms and just gone with the self-propelled howitzers yeah that would be my army though really I would probably have sold even more infantry units over there in the movement camp and picked up um, 
uh, picked up more upgrades from the integrators to really upgrade these units. It's it's annoying like you all like you have to use one of these slots for just survivalists to reduce supply. It is just such an obnoxious system. Like I think it should it shouldn't be a case like on just the lower difficulty that uh, you no longer have this issue because like if I you know if I set it to realistic again you know it's like we're going back to five days of supplies and keep in mind yep let's take the helicopter um, we're back to five days of supply so it's, it's just not a great uh, system to to engage in oh by the way with the regards to a choice over there you want the Blackhawk the only way to get one is to like there's no founder store which Kind of weird, kind of weird, really. Um, you can only get a Blackhawk if you get it from Ranger Command after Oklahoma as a choice, and it's really useful because it gives you anti tank guided missiles. The only thing I've purchased in this entire campaign from stores is like maybe a unit, like I've purchased, I haven't even purchased a unit of gorillas. The only thing I've purchased is like, uh, it's like an Air Qua, a, heli, a helicopter, like a Huey, and I've, uh, and I've gotten a Blackhawk from Ranger Command. Outside of that, in virtually every mission, I've picked up a lot of units, a lot of vehicles, and I've been selling a ton of them. And it's frustrating. It's also frustrating that you go from mission to mission to mission, and like with infantry weapons in particular, it's frustrating because, you know, if a squad takes damage, they might drop their weapons, and then it's like picking them up is just so annoying. Like, you know, I can understand maybe with like picking up enemy weapons, though I think like you should have a couple of buttons at the end of each mission uh, one to quickly evacuate and two to just like once you're done with the objectives and there's no enemies left on the map you should have two options this is what I think should be improved like supply being obnoxious and just having more opportunities to get supplies that's one thing or just having lower supply consumption by default that would make for a better game experience in general um, even further than this and then on top of that, another thing that I would do is add two buttons in a mission. One, and once you're done with a mission, like once you're done with a mission, or sh this maybe should happen automatically. One thing that should happen is like you pick up every vehicle that you can, every single vehicle that's damaged that could be repaired, you have that. I know it would probably be annoying to implement, I get that. But another thing, like every weapon that's dropped by you or the enemy that can be picked up. And I'm not talking here like default weapons, like you know, I'm talking here like plasma weapons. You know, I'm, t I'm not talking here like, oh, you destroyed an ATGM squad, they dropped that. That's meaningless. No, but I'm talking here like, you know, mounted plasma recoilless rifle. I'm talking here laser sniper rifles, uh, 50 cals, all that. Those kind of things, you should have the ability of looting all of them at the end of a mission. Because it is annoying having to do that manually. It's, it, it just really destroys the feeling of success when you've just won a difficult mission and then you spend like half a fucking hour just scouring the map to pick all of this stuff up. <laughs> like, it's not fun. It really is not fun to deal with that. That would be something I changed. Like, uh, Homeworld does this. Uh, or they didn't necessarily initially have that, but they did add that. I think this is something this game needs. Cuisine, signing out, don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications, and stay tuned for more.